It's time to start at the random and see what we have here. What do we have? Oh yeah, there's a race too for the spots. So I almost forgot. number seven on your mark get set go and the winner will get three spots in the box Joe you're out front just by a step or two here with 10 seconds left Andrew trailing just by a step five seconds left now here comes the whole pack. Tommy G is up there. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Congratulations. That is three spots in the box. That can make all the difference right there in the box break itself. My oh my. Tommy G. That is our filler race. Thanks for getting in and giving it a go with us and seeing if you can win some spots and have some fun with it that way. We're going to randomize each list seven times. We're going to stack the lists up side by side in just a moment here. See how this thing goes, man. Seven times through for the owner names. All right, lucky number seven. There is the first random. Now time for this random here. For all the different years. Seven times through. Lucky number seven. There we go. So I'm going to sort this thing by the years. Yeah, there it goes. Usually I never sort by the numbers like this, but yeah, that's Michael Weeks. I can hit back. And Mr. Michael W. has 50. Yep. Okay. I can hit forward. Yep. Just kind of double checking. All 
Well, I hope we hit a big colonial note or something just really epic here. There are some amazing things to pull in this box break around here in this. What's it going to be? It's got shrink wrap all around it. Good luck, everybody, in the graded note box break. Hit Parade's graded note. What do we have? It's a $10 Federal Reserve note from New York. The year is 1950. Wow. Okay, <laughs> look at that. It's a 1950, Michael. Choice uncirculated. Oh, yeah, look at how pristine this $10 bill is. Wow, that is old school, too, man. I haven't realized how long it's been since I've seen one of these kind of tins. That's crazy. Time flies, man, but I'm not used to seeing these anymore. I like the way these look better than newer, newer dollars. I just do. They look nicer, I think, in my opinion. These just look nicer than newer dollars anyway that is a great hit and there's some special things about this one there is some very special things uh, about this and it's all described in the description here you can see it's a 1950 B and it's got BF block what does that mean BF block well, there's some there's where it says you know 1950b right there it also says it in its description but i don't know you know this is the okay this is the b and the f so this is the block i guess is what it's called i'm not the most knowledgeable person about the collectible notes but it sure is interesting and really fun to learn about and so there is more here to to know as you can see the description there's all kinds of meaning behind some of these different things and uh yeah that is a really cool hit congratulations hope michael w pulling down some treasure yes sir